Hello everyone, this is the Gamer Singh. I've just recently started my new gaming channel on YouTube and Facebook with the name The Gamer Singh. Definitely go and subscribe, please, and follow on Facebook because that's what I really need on. Now, the important question while I was setting up my gaming channel, there were tons and tons of issues I was running into. It was just going all wrong, all wrong. The biggest issue which became a pain in my backside was audio, setting up the audio. It was it was ridiculous. It was because there were so many inputs that were required and they had to be really correct uh, to work. I even ended up streaming once with no audio at all. That's how wrong I went. Um, but I didn't realize it until it was all streamed. So uh, now, guys, uh, there, there are a lot of other options out there where people have used hardware synthesizers, the mixers and stuff like that. They, they've done a lot. Uh, but I didn't want to go on that large scale because uh, I just wanted it compact, uh, least amount of wires and stuff. So I came across Voice Meter. Obviously, you all know it. That's why you're here searching for it. Uh, now, Voice Meter is a great tool, but you got, it, it's hard for you to keep that on the screen uh, if you have to move the sliders, if you have to move the faders, uh, if you have to change any settings, you have to tweak into anything so uh, I ended up then getting this Akai MIDI mix which is which is a great great pad it is it's a it's a great pad to control the audios but where it becomes tough is to actually get it to work because uh, in the voice meter uh, potato it's itself you can go on to the menu here and midi mix mapping and you can map every single individual buttons here you, you can it's, it's really really easy but it won't light up and that's where the pain is because if it doesn't light up you don't know what's happening you you, you just have no clue no clue though so i this is where i ended up doing wrong was i pressed the mute button off uh, off the mic accidentally uh, rather than pressing this one and i didn't realize until the whole mix was over so uh, I needed the light to light up just like that. If I press this, the light should come up, but it wasn't happening. So I, I went through a, a lot of pain and to understand the programming behind it and everything. And, and, and once I've got it to work, it's lovely. I love it. Now, the reason for me making, making this video was because when, when, when I know that there's no one out there who's put in a good effort to, uh, to, to spread out a tutorial for 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 everyone who's new on the on the gaming channel or any other channel or or wants to use this with any PC or with Mac or anything, uh, and for it to work, there's nothing good, no good guide out there. So I decided to make a video today. Um, I had few couple of hours spare today out of my work, so I decided to put together and throw it on the YouTube for whoever needs that support because it's always good to have the support if needed so to start with guys obviously uh, I can take you quickly through voice meter potato what it is I know now everything about it but uh, I'm gonna keep it very brief because I believe you're only here for the the potato voice meter potato and the midi mix uh, integration so I'm gonna majorly focus on that but I'll quickly take you through my setup I've got on my first uh, strip, which is strip zero, uh, I've got a Yeti mic. Strip one, I've got my music streaming and it's on cable B. Uh, then I've got my party chat audio. This is the chat audio coming from my friends who are, who am I playing with? It's not my voice audio. My voice audio is coming into the system through this mic. And also this mic is used to send audio to my players who are playing with as well. So I'm not using any other mic with my PS4 or PS5. It's this mic that's driving all the audio in, which I'll show you how to do that uh, in probably a different video. But this video, I would really like to keep it uh, for integration of these two. So this is the game software, uh, my Streamlabs OBS. Any audio coming from that goes into this channel here, this strip here. Then this is my spare strip, which I have kept for my um, for my headset. If in case something goes wrong with this mic, then this is my backup. This is the normal default output. 
uh, voice meter Vio. This is voice meter uh, aux, which is the default communication channel. And this again is a spare one. Now, for the actual hardware outputs, you've got A1, I have selected my speaker. Uh, then I've got A2, which is my real tech speakers. Uh, which is my line out, you can say. This is my line out. Now, I'll tell you why I have this on A2 is, this is where my party chat is connected. So if I want to send audio from, from my Yeti mic to the guys who I'm playing with, all I do is I just press A2. Okay. Now my voice is going to start going into the input of PS5 and the guys will be able to hear whatever I'm speaking on my Yeti mic. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, uh, I've left this uh, spare because I normally connect my either AirPods, my Samsung Buds, or my headset over here. So I've, I've left these. Uh, you can see I've got the Galaxy Buds connected, my my AirPods, which are not showing, which are not connected right now. So I've, I've got all of them uh, connected here when I want to use them. So these are just spares. And then I just use these buttons to drive the audio into their respective uh, channels. Now to control these, the volumes, they are over here. These faders controls these volumes. So A1 controls A1 volume or gain, you can say, um, A2, A3, A4, A5, okay, respectively. <coughs> now, to control with the MIDI mix, <coughs> it's easy, it's really easy to control the faders because uh, it's, there's no programming required. You just select which fader it does what. Uh, and there's no programming required at all. So uh, you do that from going into menu and MIDI mapping, select the MIDI mix that you want, um, and then uh, you go on to the slider that you want to change. I'm not going to change this slider because, uh oh, uh, this slider obviously I've, I've changed it now. So, but I'm going to do, I'm going to click on learn. And if I touch this, you can see it's now learned that this slider is this. And I'm going to do uh, a little bit of demo with this. My mic voice is, you're going to notice the mic's sound is going down. And then now coming back up. So it's very easy. It's fairly easy to connect the, uh, the fader with the, with the voice meter. Okay. The tougher question is how to connect these buttons here. And the more tougher question is how to get them to actually light up when needed. Okay. Now for that, there comes in the macro buttons. Okay. This is, this is a definite. We can't do it without it. We can't. Okay. Now to show you briefly what, what these macro buttons actually do and how do they work is you can assign anything on this button to do anything on the voice meter. So, uh, if I press this here, you can see that the channel two is getting, uh, the strip one is getting muted. If I press this again, it's unmuted. If I press this, muted. Now, Along with that, you can see the light goes on and off as well because it's now perfect syncing together. It's, it's in perfect sync. Okay. And if I do it from here, it works the same way as, as it should. Okay. Now, how, how to get this to work? We'll right click on it. Then we'll go on to, uh, what's called as, uh, I'm sorry, this is, this is a pain to be honest because it's not in perfect sync. Uh, but I'll try to get it to work. Okay. So you've got this here, the button name, which you say mute, obviously, whatever the name you want to give it to. Then what does it do? I've noted as it mutes my music, which is fine. Then you select here, what type of button is it? Is it a push button? Or is it a two position button? Now push button is something which you have to keep it pushed for it to work, right? But we didn't need that. We want something which can stay in place. So it's a two position button on or off. Now I'll come to this part later. We first go to uh, this part here. Okay. Now how to get the MIDI mix to know the, the, sorry, the macro buttons to know which button are we pressing on the MIDI mix. For that, we press learn here. Okay. And then we press the button. There you go. It's learned now which button it is. 
Okay. Now we come to this part here. This is where the magic happens. We give it a command of button on strip one dot mute equal to one. Uh, strip one dot mute equal to one, which means it is muted. Now, if it is muted, we want the light to show up. Now, how does that work is we ask the system to send MIDI a command to do that. Now, it's very important to understand this, this command. So the command is out one data 90. This 90 will always stay like that. Then the number four. Now, this is the button ID. How do you get that? Simple from here. Okay. Once you press any button, uh, after pressing learn, I'll show you how. If you, if I press this, you see it changes. It changes to six. It changes to four. Whatever that button is, you can see the ID comes up in the bracket. Okay. So we put the ID in. Then zero means, sorry, I was here. The, we put the ID in four and seven F. Now, 7F stands for the highest value of a light or of the MIDI mix, its range. I think it is 124. I think so. Uh, so, um, whatever, 7F, just remember guys, 7F it is for on and zero for off. So, because we want the light on when it's muted, it's 7f. So this, com this command is system dot send midi out one data 90. This all stays exactly like this. 4 and then 7f. Now to switch it off, everything remains the same. Obviously this will change to zero because it's not muted now. And if it is not muted now, we want the light to go off, then this will become zero. And it perfectly syncs. Now all of it was really, really good up till here. You're gonna go in, you'll be filling the commands in, copying from the, from this hair, which is perfectly fine. You do that. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put it in the description as well, the, the, these commands here, which is perfectly fine. Now, you will be surprised to see it still doesn't work. You know why? Because there's one important factor here, out one. Okay. I'm gonna focus on this out one. What you have to do is, you have to assign the MIDI mix a channel and this is the channel for macro buttons okay so you i'm gonna come out of here now i'm gonna right click here okay on the on the bot uh you're not able to see the menu uh let me i can't show you okay but i'll i'll post it on the on the pictures anyway probably so if just press right click on the bar here okay uh, let me show it to you. Hang on. Okay. So we're in. Uh, there you go. So if I take this and right click here, the menu pops up. Okay. In this menu, this is what out one is and I will select MIDI mix. Guys, this is what took ages for me to figure out because I didn't find it anywhere. Right click, MIDI out one and then MIDI mix. Okay. Now, once you do that, it should all work perfectly fine. I'm going back. So once you do that, that's when the macro buttons will know that this is out one is this MIDI mix channel here and this is where to send the command out. So guys, that's how the things work. Um, I hope it is very clear now how to get the buttons to work. I'll also drop in a PDF file of the voice meter which states exactly which column is referred to as what? It's a, it's a PDF file which will give you all the indi indications of what this strip is called, what this button is called, you know, what, what to fill in. So if you have to program strip one dot mute, then it will tell you that this button is called strip one dot mute. This button is called strip, 
uh, sorry, strip one dot solo, strip two dot mute, strip three dot mono, strip four dot a one. That's how it says. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So you can see again, <coughs> strip one dot a three, which is which is this one. So that's how, guys, the the numbering works. I'm going to drop in a PDF file for more information on what every single thing is called and i'm going to drop in this command so that it's easier for you to copy and paste uh, this command in your system now i uh, one thing i left behind was this what does this mean <clears throat> when you load up there will be an initial request state initial state request which is in what state are your buttons <clears throat> now this is where it comes in because uh, this tells you exactly of what the state of the buttons are so uh, it basically checks it so if it is zero it will send a zero light or turn off the light button on the midi mix uh, or if it is mute it will turn the light on so this is just an initial state request all you do is copy both of these commands into this and it will do an initial state request just copy these two into this together as it is and it will be done okay guys now I've obviously kept it very brief and just purely about the MIDI mix integration with the voice meter. But if you've got any questions regarding the voice meter potato, please feel free to drop in. Or if you get stuck at any point in, into integration of any of the buttons or these or anything with the MIDI mix, just drop in a message and I'll be more than happy to respond back to you. Okay, thank you very much guys. Hopefully you'll find it useful and please, please subscribe because I really need the subscribers and the followers on Facebook. Please do. If you really find this helpful, please do that. Thank you very much.